Hi everyone and welcome back for some Eliminator action. It's been a busy couple of weeks so I couldn't play anywhere as much as I want. But uh, today I have some time so decided to play some Eliminator. I'm back in my Ekbalam spawn. Uh, the one I like so much and judging by the sound in this loading screen I have a car drop right nearby. So let's look where it is. It's not in front so should be up on the yeah it's up on the pyramid on the top let's see what we get oh my gosh this is rs7 this is pretty much as good as it gets for my car drops so that also means i don't need to look for any more drops at all i can just go into action right away right so where is the arena there it is let's drive towards the arena stick to the road Hope to catch somebody in the beginning Vocho. Or maybe look up for where the other card drops are and see if we can catch somebody trying to upgrade there. So let's get on this road and drive towards the highway. Can't see any pointers yet on the map. So looks like a lot of people decided to spawn closer to the center, which really a lot of people do and I, I don't quite understand why it's uh, it's not very beneficial there's uh, when you spawn in the busy area with a lot of people around you pretty much get engaged engaged from get-go which is kind of fun but uh, you end up upgrading one level at a time uh, because everybody's in the beginning cars and really this lowers your chances i prefer to spawn on the outskirts you know pick up some card drops level up uh, quick and then hunt for somebody okay we have somebody incoming oh and that's a watcher so yeah sorry mate and he's going the opposite way so this should be a reasonably easy drive for us unless i manage to hit something um, but even even so uh, i mean the car, the speed difference between this rs7 and vulture is so big that i probably should be taking the road that's uh, to the left of me uh, at least for some time to maximize tarmac time but it doesn't really matter i think vulture does what 150 kilometers per hour on the off-road and I've just been driving 220, so 50% uh, speed advantage is not something you can really do anything about. Uh, it's just too much. So that's the first elimination down. Beating your opponent. Let's see what we can upgrade into. Oh, trail cat. Trail cat is nice. Okay, and I've seen some bleeps on the radar. Oh, there's one in front. So let's go catch them and yeah, it looks like that's another watcher. Pretty much, pretty sure it is. Okay, here we are. Come on, challenge, challenge, what? Challenge, Wait. what the hell? Why doesn't the challenge work? I mean, look. He's, he's desperately trying to drive away and I'm desperately honking at the guy and it just doesn't work. Uh, it wouldn't allow me to challenge this poor soul. What the actual hell? I've, I've read reports about this happening all the way back at the start of the game. But, well... I guess that's your lucky day, mate. I guess... Because uh, obviously, yeah, there's no chance in Vulture versus Trailcat, especially, uh, well, unless there's some huge mistake. But, yeah, it looks like, for whatever reason, challenging this guy just didn't work. Let's see who you are. Okay. Is that another Vulture? L looks like it is. Yeah. All right, okay. Let's yeah, or at least this time the challenge worked. That's that's fine. Okay, we just need to turn around here. And he was driving the same way, so yeah, there he is. Uh, 
all the way back so let's just carefully and nicely drive towards the destination there's plenty of trees in the way so let's just make sure not to do anything stupid some hills as well okay just avoiding the oh, okay that's a steep hill uh, okay shouldn't have shouldn't be breaking here I probably would have made it up this ledge let's drive up here yeah okay it works still yeah uh, I'm so much ahead that probably that doesn't matter but it would be quite embarrassing to lose to fully disadvantaged fortune in level 7 trail cat not that it's impossible I I think I did lose to a level one car in something reasonably high level before but that was purely you know driving the wrong direction and him uh, taking a really good trajectory so that happens every now and then you just don't get stuck here oh, sliding sideways okay let's take a small detour all right <clears throat> up the hill as long as the timer doesn't run out where are we okay we're really close to this side not along boom, boom. yeah that's the edge okay race finished waiting for results okay waiting for results i mean i come on what the hell is going on here uh I did win it, right? I, I had to had lost. The hell that does that mean? <laughs> what do you mean, lost? I didn't bloody lose it. I won it. Okay, so I can't upgrade my car anymore. Uh, I supposedly lost it. Oh, okay. I couldn't challenge that guy either. What the actual hell is going on? I I don't think I've seen that many bugs in Eliminator at all ever. I mean, I've seen some occasional and the early ones like cars popping up out of nowhere or disappearing. But okay, this is really weird if I lost it I shouldn't have been eliminated right but I'm not eliminated I'm still in the game having supposedly lost the hat to hand what happened to that guy did he did he count as a win did he get to get my trail cat I got no idea <laughs> but I got no idea but this is properly weird okay somebody is right there probably finishing the same race as I am so let's just circle around them okay there's a winner let's try to catch them like that come on buddy where are you probably took too much of a detour oh to be honest uh, I'm just a little bit speechless uh, from this had to had loss situation that yeah my reactions are not really good right now uh, yeah okay that is the frustrating experience but let's see if we can still catch somebody yeah nah okay let's go up that bridge drive the highway and see if we can catch somebody there Ooh, yeah most bugs I've seen so far but it's okay I also there's still only what three markers on the on the map 18 people left the arena is reasonably sl small Why, where is everybody oh okay they might be driving to the shrinking location oh, no. okay let's go hunt those markers Not sure where to go to be honest. I don't really like this area. There's a lot of trees and hills, so high chance to do what I just did. 
uh, smash the tree uh, or do a roll unintended which is never good but okay let's just carefully drive the road towards the markers there There's two of them might be finishing again the same race to the same location I don't know or at least similar which is you know always a good uh, thing to catch somebody who's just finished the race and upgrading the car obviously they are stand still and a little bit disoriented with all the stuff that pops up on the, in the middle of your screen huge letters and uh, all that uh, so it usually provides you with a chance to to beat them reasonably easy okay there's few more markers now okay there's people start to converge on this location okay that's we back to that same spot okay this guy just upgraded into level 10 what Funko yeah Funko so let's see maybe but now he's driving okay there's some easier prime well, there was there was no challenge I can I can't challenge him what okay let's try to catch another guy but now this is this is getting proper weird so what did they have the guy I had a challenge marker on couldn't challenge uh, the had to had lost on the apparent win where is this guy he's hiding in the in the bush okay hello let's no I can't the challenge thing just doesn't come come up I can honk all the way the whole day he's just parked there hiding behind uh, whatever uh, behind the shed and I can't do anything to him what this is weird hmm all right okay I'm not I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do now. Just time out till the final showdown and... Okay, I can't challenge this one either. So, I literally am unable to challenge anyone. So, all I have left to do is wait for the final... I don't know, can they challenge me? Or... Uh, no idea. No idea. Okay, that should be the final shrinking, so... Uh, yeah. So let's just... Yeah, head to head disabled, so now half a minute countdown. Uh, the destination should be... I guess up north. So let's just stay here. Okay. Nine players left. Uh, there's at least one level 10 car. There's our hiding guy in level 6 Porsche. There was another level 6 passing by, level 9. Okay, there's plenty of competition. Um, yeah, okay. At least I got the destination, right? Let's see how this goes. Alright, but I'm not the, the only one. Okay, there's somebody to the left of me who's seems to be faster already he already passed me um, okay. plenty of trees ahead as well this is this is getting dangerous you know I, I for anyone who watched my videos before you know I like to hit the trees they are I have a specific affection to uh, the trees maybe it's some anti greenpeace thing somewhere deep in my soul I know. Uh, in real life, I, I normally don't hit the trees. I don't think I ever hit the tree with a car. Definitely didn't ever hit a tree with a car. But here in Forza, that's all I do. That's all I do, you know. Oh, there's a tree. Let me hit it. Oh. Okay, somehow, well, I only hit a house, but not a tree yet. But there's still more to come. Okay, that guy ahead of me is really further ahead. So 
so I need him to make some major mistake. Oh, there's my tree. Uh, some proper error. But... Okay. Yeah, where's... Oh, the destination is right here. Oh, I'm so stupid. And there he is. Look! That's the same guy on the, that level 6 Porsche who was hiding behind the shed. <laughs> well, okay, second place. It, it's okay. The, with all the bugs that uh, I've seen, I guess I'll just take it. Anyways, thank you for watching. It's been a little bit of fun. I'll see you in the next one.